Welcome back to another video for the Linux and SQL series. Uh, we're going to continue the SQL portion of the series with filtering an SQL query in this particular video. Now, uh, this is as a security professional, right? Knowing how to make better queries to retrieve specific pieces of data, which can help, you know, find the security related information that uh, we need a little bit more efficiently. Now, what I'll do in a few activities or a few tasks, right, um, within the activity itself, I'll be applying some very basic filters to SQL queries to retrieve some information from a Maria database. Um, I'm sorry, Maria DB database. Uh, now, well, what Maria DB is? It's a very popular open source relational database that's compatible with MySQL or you know my standard query language. It's just going to provide an opportunity, right, to showcase. Uh, um, as far as adding filters to SQL series uh, queries. So let's paint the pinter for this scenario. Now, I need to get specific information about employees, right? Their machines and the departments that they're in, right? Similar to the last video. Now, my team needs this data, uh, right, to perform a few tasks like running updates, you know, uh, posting a privacy notice in certain departments, of course, and of course, sending an alert to an employee with an issue on a machine, right? Now, Let's say I'm responsible for finding the required information by querying a database. I'll add filters to my queries to locate the information a bit more quickly. And I'll show how, how I do this by listing all the organization's machine, the, their OSs, and listing all the machines with the OS, um, OS2, and then listing all the employees in the uh, various departments and obtain the information about the machine. So nonetheless, we can go ahead and start with listing all of the organization's machines. So I need to get a list of all these machines and, and their OSs, right? And the data is contained in, of course, the machines table naturally, right? So I'll need to use the, uh, the select keyword, which I have definitely before. Uh, let's see. And I'll just leave their device. Um, okay, I don't know how to spell. Like I said, it's 10 times out of 10 user error. So nonetheless, uh, looks like, wow, it's quite a, quite a lot. It's about 200, well, not that many, I guess, depending on the size of your organization. But nonetheless, I, I have all Again, all of the organization machines uh, that I have here, right, in OSs, right, OS2, OS1, OS3, right? So now I can move on to retrieving a list of machines with OS2 in particular, right? And this is where the filtering comes in, right? So what I'll do, well, what I need to do rather is obtain a list of all the machines with the OS2 in particular, uh, the operating system, because these machines need an update with the OS2 uh, OS, right? So to get this information, this is where I'll be running my SQL. SQL um, query with the filter, right? So all it'll look like, um, so we select, right, our device ID, not IS, right, operating system and from machines, right? And then, right? System column. Okay. That equals the um OS2. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Not what I did anyway. So now we have everything filtered with just OS2. Now just before I continue, I just want to touch on this really quick. Now, the where clause allows me to filter the results returned by a query by returning only the records uh, that satisfy the condition that I gave it as far as the OS2, right? So nonetheless, I can definitely still move forward with now listing employees in specific departments, right? As you saw earlier, uh, you didn't see. Uh, there is different departments, but nonetheless, that, that's safe to be assumed to uh, most, if not all, companies, right? Uh, but I can list uh, also employees with a specific department. So what I'm going to do now is 
I need to retrieve a list of all the employees and let's say the finance and sales departments to obtain their office numbers. Now, let's say a notice about handling confidential financial information will be posted to these offices. So I have to filter some roles and do a little finagling with my filters to, uh, to make sure I'm able to list the employees in these specific departments. So uh, let's get started naturally with select. I'm gonna select all, right? And we want them where? Um, <clears throat> we got... Okay, um, let's see, we want them, let's see, we're only gonna include employees in the finance department. So uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I was able to list the employees in the specific department, specifically the finance department, as we can see here, and the offices where they're located, the west office, like the south, east, you know, what, you know, things of that nature. Now, I can also modify that query as well to return uh, everyone that's in the sales department. So if I do that, okay, right, and then I'll have everyone in sales, which is only about 33, not too bad. Hopefully they generate some good revenue so we can keep our jobs. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we'll move on to my next task, which is identifying employee machines. Now, let's say my team recently discovered that there are issues with machines in the South. Let's see a machine in South Room 109, right, has an issue. And I need to determine which employee uses that computer so I can send them an alert. So what I'm gonna do is write a query uh, particularly for this to identify which employee uses the office in South, in the South Building Room 109. Um, let's see. So if we do select, um, we just do all. It's, we'll just still be specific with the filter. Um, select. Uh, let's see. From we all right and then there. Um, let's see, um, put that organization employee W list, uh, let's see, let's take it out of the Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that wouldn't work. I don't know. Uh, I can figure something out. Uh, let's see. Missing, one missing. Okay, so let's try all this. There we go, Jay freaking Lansky, South 109, figured it out. Now, uh, now, let's say my team has determined that there is an issue with all the machines in the South building, not just South 109. Offices in that organization, in the organization are named with the building name, a hyphen, and the office number in that building, like for example, South 109, as you can see here, right? 
I can also modify the query if things change that I just used right, to return information on all the employees in the South building. So I would be able to, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily have to be this exact way. Um, it wouldn't be done in this exact way. I would actually use another um, another type of query. So um, let's see, I'm trying to think here. All right, so let's try. This might be wrong. Oops. Let me forget that. Yeah, I know I had an issue. Let's see. Origin for the rest of types use near. You know what's funny? You know, <laughs> the greatest mysteries are always literally funny for me. Again. Actually, you know what? Let me keep that. Okay, so let me keep, let me take that out. And let me not ask this. There we go. Peace Christ. <laughs> I got everything from the South building uh, using another, using a wildcard and the like uh, query language. Uh, but nonetheless, um, let's see. Yeah, but nonetheless, I have everyone in the South building across various departments. And I've also bring, uh, after the various activities that we've done uh, overall, uh, the exercise of, you know, demonstrating, filtering a uh, query, uh, from SQL, this also brings us to the conclusion of the video. Now I've showcased in this video practical experience in using SQL to apply the where clause to filter uh, what a SQL query returns and also using the like operator to filter for patterns. Now, again, just trying to be well on my way to running SQL queries to get specific data from a database. Uh, I have a few more videos, quite a few more videos coming up, particularly around SQL, not only in this series, but also in the future series built solely for standard query language, where I'll be getting a lot more intensive. I wanted to focus this in conjunction with Linux about these tools being utilized as best as possible, at least at the basic foundational level for a security professional, especially for a buddy one like myself. Uh, but nonetheless, in the meantime, to the next video, uh, stay curious, stay secure.